Yeah, take it away, Chelsea Murakami. <laughs> Love it. You'll be begging for the recipe. Yeah, right. Whose birthday? Miss Chelsea's. Yeah, in a month. Okay. Maybe a teensy bit obsessive. Mm -hmm. Occasionally a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chelsea. Mom, mom, watch this. Okay. Wow. Nice job, pal. <laughs> Just try and stay in the center, okay? Okay. All right. It's easier without your shoes. That's okay, mom. All right. <laughs> hey, son, you have got to taste this. Um, hang on. Mm. Mm. Brody, you are a genius, but I swear I'm putting that thing on eBay. Turn it down. Will you not sweat it? I come here for the chaos. Hmm. Once they grow up and leave, you'll see. Well, in the meantime, right now... Cindy, two days after Shannon left for college, Without all that teenage disorder and confusion, I was a basket case. Oh. It's true what they say. It goes way too fast. Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, you hurt me. <laughs> Look, Tom, I can send everybody home if that's what you want. No, no. I'll tell you what, today I'll break early for lunch, but keep me posted, all right? You got it. What's up? A couple of investors just pulled out. It's not good. I'm not going to tell you guys not to sweat it, but I think it's just a financial speed bump. Yeah, yeah, that's all cool, but uh, what's it mean for us? Right now, lunch break. Yo, Bruce, how long is this break going to last, man? I mean, are we talking Christmas? Yeah, I, Rodney, we're all in the same boat, OK? Look, I, me, I got a kid in college, cost me 600 bucks a minute. All right, I'll make a few phone calls and make sure that we're covered in case this job goes down. Hector. Don't let anybody leave the site. Yeah, Bruce, man, if this job goes down and you can't find anything for us, I mean, you know my situation. I got you covered. Two months, solid. Yeah, but I didn't mean you personally, man. Between you and I, it is personal, OK? Thanks, man. Kiddo, how you doing? Good. I can't believe you saw that one. I've done like 20 perfect ones. Did I say I didn't believe you? No, I didn't. But hey, take these off, okay? You're gonna wear this out. But they're that, 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 that. Shoes off. Hey, Dad. I finished my composition. Wanna hear? Hey. Bruce, good news. Hey, good one, one sec, Tom. Mm, what are you doing here? Hey, Tom, how are you? Okay, well, Bye, Tom. I'll, I'll keep, Bye, Tom. I'll, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Right. What are you doing home? I just miss you so bad I had wait, to come wait, home wait, wait. You haven't had time to miss me yet. What's going on? Nothing. Everything's fine. Hey, hi, Melissa. Hey, Bruce. How are you? Excellent. Honey, we got anything to eat? All right, I have to go anyway. Oh, you don't have to go. Oh, I've got a mother-in-law with crumb issues. <laughs> Better go vacuum the walls or something. Oh, and David bought one of those grills that runs by... Convection. Right. Can you guys come over on Sunday? Love to. Okay. I'll call you later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye, Melissa. Bye. Honey, what is this? This is a care package for Josh, but I can't find his chocolate anywhere. You know they sell chocolate bars on campus, right? Well, not the Dutch kind. Not the Dutch kind? <laughs> you ate them, didn't you? No. Oh, you so I did not. Them. You're welcome to frisk me. Totally ate did his chocolate. you find chocolate. any chocolate on it? No. Oh. oh, is that important? Well, I better take this. I better take it. All right, I'm gonna go to the store. Okay. Hey, yeah. sweet pea, have you seen the chocolate I yeah, got for Josh? He... Uh, that was for Josh. <laughs> what? You want to come to the mall with me? Well, yeah. Well, Tom, yeah. So? Go grab your shoes. Right, how about how about this? How about how about I put half the, the crew on the Macklin project, keep the other half busy with the finish work on the condos downtown? Family rule. Hold on a second. Mm. Let's not throw in the towel yet. All right. What do you think? 
Okay, okay. Uh, call me, let me know. Mom, can I also get a pink bag? Maybe a pink one. You know, buckle up. Hey, Dad. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, are you sure they have deep enough pockets to come in on this? Yeah, well, why don't you do that, just to be sure. Call me back. Thanks. Got time now? Time for? My new composition. Oh, yeah, you know me in music. Def is a post. Let your mom listen to it. I'm right in the middle of something. Hello? Tom? So? We're all set. Oh! That's great! Okay, no! <laughs> oh, I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> No, no, no. They're all still on site. That's good. Yep, I can put them to work right away. Yeah, Tom, they're going to love you for this, but they're still not going to work for less. I guess my steam did <laughs> Right. All right, catch you later. Mommy's phone. She's driving. Did you guys get the Dutch chocolate? <laughs> yep. Now we're going to that mailbox place. Charles? Hello, Charles. Hey, this is Cindy. Leave me a message. Hey there, it's me. I guess we must have got cut off. Listen, everything is back on with work, okay? So don't worry about anything. I'll see you tonight. Love you.
bad? Brody. Josh. <laughs> Can't believe it. Bruce down. Hey, bro, do you want something to eat, sweetie? Nah. I'll be okay. So, uh, when, when did you and Brody meet? Brody? Mm. Uh, well, in the kitchen right before the funeral. I'm, I'm here with Josh. Oh, I see. Yeah, she's uh, my girlfriend, Aunt Lena, not Brody's. Uh. Oh, this is a beautiful photograph of the two of them. I remember this. This was taken right after you adopted her. Yes. I'm sorry, Bruce. Excuse me. Should I check on him? No. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Yeah. Aunt Lena kept calling me Brody. Is she losing it? What do you think? Maybe. Probably. Still don't get it, Dad. She never would have done something like that. You know, I read all the newspapers. They all said that Mom pulled out of that parking lot right into incoming traffic. Josh. It's not her, you know that. Mom puts on her turn signal when she pulls out of our driveway. I know. So how can they blame it on her? I mean, I, I don't get it. So who hit who, Dad? I mean, did you not even bother to ask? I don't know who's hit who, who signaled, who turned, who didn't. I don't know anything. All I know is your mom and your sister are dead, so let's drop it. <laughs> I, hey, I see you. <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh. Come here, come here. Come here. What's the family rule? Always have a kiss when you go out.
second day of here. Our next contestant is Egyptian surprising. Hey. Listen, I've got a chem midterm on Monday. So I want to go. Just have go. Come on, Brody. Caused by street racing released by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration show that these accidents usually took place on urban roads and were nearly six times more likely to occur with male teenagers at the wheel. There is now reason to believe that the recent fatal crash at Hillsborough Mall involved street racing. Here's what one witness had to say. Yeah, a kid was driving fast in a black sports car, uh, weaving in and out of traffic you know, missing cars like by, you know, this much. Uh, and the other kind of light brown car was going neck and neck with it just as fast. I mean, these kids were hauling. When the black car hit, that minivan didn't stand a chance. Authorities refused to comment on the allegation that the 18-year-old driver was street racing at the time. But among Did this, you know this age group, this mall at Hillsborough is a go-to destination. For teen cruising. This is Wanda Rowland's reporting. In other news, the mayor attended the groundbreaking ceremony of the long awaited. Can I help you, sir? Yeah. I'd like to see the police report about the recent accident at the Hillsborough Mall. My wife and daughter were the ones. The fatalities in the case. Ms. Murakami? Sheriff Berger, we spoke briefly at the hospital two weeks ago. Yeah, right, right. Why haven't you contacted me? Well? well the morning news said that there was allegations about street racing. Is that true? Why don't we discuss this? Uh, there was a witness who said that he saw two idiots racing in and out of traffic when my wife was hit. Others disputed that account. What others? We're a couple of units short for traffic control down at the concert. Breakaway Osborne and uh, McGinnis. Sir, it is our job to investigate an accident thoroughly. But this kid who plowed into them, if he was racing and he caused that accident, you will arrest him, right? Mr. Murakami, every witness agreed. Your wife turned left out of a parking lot. My wife did not have a, a death wish. Our daughter was in that car. And another car hit them. But we cannot arrest that driver unless we prove his actions were reckless. I was there. I saw what those cars looked like. That kind of impact only happens if someone is moving very, very fast. Mr. Murakami, there must be hard evidence, or else it goes on record as an accident. So then the kid who killed him, he, what, he just walks away? Excuse me, sir. Commissioner needs you, okay, on this? At this point, we have no such evidence. Therefore, we cannot file charges. That simple, huh? I understand your frustration, sir. No, you don't. You suffered a terrible loss. And we're going to do everything we can to find out exactly how that happened. You have my word on it. I came here for the police report. Do you really want to read that, sir? Your accident report is public record, and I would like to have a copy. Please. Thank you. What, what kind of proof do you need? A few more innocent women and children burning to death? I mean, what, what, what is it going to take for your department to do the right thing? <laughs> so where are we, guys? You going to do any work today? Oh, hey, boss, we're on lunch, man. Yeah, I can see that. Why don't you guys pick up your trash? <laughs> Oh, the client comes out here, sees you guys sitting on your butt stuff in your face. It doesn't Whoa, look good. Hector, down. we are on a serious deadline here, okay? And it's my reputation that goes down the toilet, not yours. I know that, boss, but we're on schedule, and this is our lunch time. Just want to make sure you guys weren't uh, taking it for granted. No, no, we're on it, boss. It's all good, man. I just want to make sure. Bruce. I'm sorry, man. All the guys and I... We're really sorry. Thanks.
All you have to do is choose a dinner. Put it on a plate, cover with plastic wrap, zap it for six minutes. Oh, and do not cover it with tin foil. <laughs> or you'll set the house on fire. Gotta die from something. Hey. Brody, it's me, Melissa. Your pal, remember? All right. What are they? Well, um, we've got some chicken and some more chicken and uh, something Chinese. And I honestly don't know what this is. I'll take a pass. Honey, you got to eat something. Some protein, something leafy and green salad. around the house feeling like I'm invisible. Like a ghost or I don't know what. I get up each day. I pretend I'm living. Breathe. Brush my teeth. School. And like all the time I'm thinking. Why am I still here and why are they not? Oh, hey, Bruce. We were just coming up with some um, no-brainer dinner choices. Where's Josh? His car's not out front. Uh, he had to go back to school for a midterm. No goodbye, nothing? Great. Sheriff's Department. They're calling it an accident. Blaming it on Cindy. Case closed. Kid got off. There's got to be something you can do. Uh, no, no not, not yet. Not yet? There's details in here. Stuff you really don't want to know about. Oh, I get it. Brody's not mature enough to know the truth? Hey. Brody. Thanks, Dad. Brody! Bruce. Hey. It's not about you. It's about being a 15-year-old boy. And Josh, I just don't think he could handle another goodbye right now. I should have left a note or something. It's that simple. I had nothing to do with it. He got off because he wasn't guilty. The DA's office should have done its homework and saved the taxpayer a considerable expense. Ms. Taylor, do you feel that uh, this was a fair verdict? Well, you know, fairness doesn't always come into it. I believe in justice. I will stop at nothing to get justice. Justice has been served today. Ms. Taylor, one more question, please. What do you Excuse me, Ms. Taylor, what do you think the legal ramifications of this decision will be? Well, I think it's been a colossal waste of our court's time. I think Mr. Shepard has missed valuable time with his family. And as I said, I, I don't think Hello. it's fair. Hello. Hi, is Brody there? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's upstairs. Hold on a sec. Brody! Brody! No, 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 no. It's fine with me. Are you sure? Yeah. If he wants to stay, that's fine. As long as you and David don't mind having a moody teenager around. Of course we don't mind. Okay. Well, thanks, Melissa. I really, really appreciate it, I guess. Tell you the truth, I'm happy I can help in some way. Call me. Okay, bye.
doesn't really matter, matter, man. At all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll catch you in class. Right. Call your dad. Oh, what do you want? Uh, it's a latte. Actually, no, it's just a water. Hey, Josh, how'd the midterm go? Dad, I read the police report. Brody faxed me a copy. Dad, who's this witness who says that Gutierrez kid wasn't racing through that mall? Josh, it doesn't matter what I think, okay? Well, don't you think it matters that you find out? Can you at least do that? Josh? Josh! Like that, huh? I got us a couple ribeyes. I'm not hungry. Brody. 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 We checked his availability, Miss Teller. He's going to be in the office tomorrow. Okay, make sure there's copies of the Watley surveys and files for him and me and if you heard from Mr. Watley. I'm still waiting to hear. Mr. Here. Thompson. Miss Teller. Okay. Miss Teller, in light of the new evidence, your client is free to go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This court is adjourned. All rise. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's a shocker. Oh. Hi, excuse me, Miss Teller. Uh, my name is Bruce Murakami. And you have a police report. <laughs> Very keen observation, which is exactly why I want to hire you. Well, I'm a little tied up at the moment. Uh, Miss Teller has 15 cases lined up back to back. Uh, if you call the office, we can give you a referral. Let no, me no, 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 it's you I want. Oh, well, I'm flattered to be one. Could you please just read the police report? Please. No, I'm trying to tell you there's nothing I can do. You can tell me why they won't arrest the kid who killed my wife and daughter. Sir, Miss Teller's already I got explained that. schedule for you. Murakami. Okay, Mr. Murakami, okay. I'm a defense attorney, not a detective. Yeah, but your M.O. is smart investigation and doing your homework better than your opponents. That's why you win. That's why I want to hire you. Well, if there's someone you'd like me to defend. Yeah. How about my wife and daughter? That would probably As I said, I just don't have time right now. Please, could you I just can't, read it? Mr. Murakami. One good reason. Because I could meet up with you in another courtroom any day now and easily be defending whoever it is you're after, Mr. I'm, Pena. I'm not after Look. anybody. I just want to see the, the law of the land applied to a criminal act. Goodbye, Mr. Murakami. She's good, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, Miss Teller, do you expect an appeal? Obviously, the district attorney's office has to work with her, but you can ask District Attorney Pena. Okay. I'll see you over there. Okay. Counselor? Hello. How are you? Oh, yeah, she's that, uh, Brody. lawyer gal. Brody, no, no. Does all that, uh, commentary on television, right, all the time? Yeah. Defended that, uh, city commissioner and the pyramid scheme. 
Smart, tough, a real fighter. Yeah. So what if she's a fighter? I mean, what are you trying to prove, Dad? I mean, what's the difference if he was street racing or, or if he was eating a cheeseburger? I mean, maybe the sun was in Mom's eyes. Maybe Chelsea jammed a CD in the CD player. Who knows? Who cares? It's not gonna bring him back, is it? Is it? I know. Most of the time, though, they actually want to file. Tom, we need more research, and you got to go over the numbers, or the answer is no. We've got the resources to take care of this. No problem. Okay, Tom. Ball's in your court. Just get back to me with something, and let's be done with it. Okay, Aaron, I'll get back to you tomorrow. All right, Tom, bye. Bye. There's a Mr. Murakami here. He's very insistent. Mr. Murakami. Ms. Teller, did you read it? Yes, I did. I can't take oh, no, this. No, you're telling me you had no problems with that report whatsoever. Oh, come back to my office. I'm being told that my wife is responsible for killing herself and our daughter. Now, I know that's not true, and now you know it's not true, right? The police filed the case as an accident because they have conflicting eyewitness accounts. Push Mr. Johnson back five minutes. Got it. Without sufficient evidence, it will be impossible to convince the district attorney's office to press charges against that driver. Was well, there any legal reason why the case can't be reopened? Technically, no, but my advice, do you want someone in your camp the DA actually likes? I want the best person. I'm not that. That case that you won, where those two kids were accused of arson, you won that case because you cared. Oh, that was five or six years ago. Oh, things change. So maybe I'm all wrong about you. Maybe our case doesn't fit into your career path, not high profile enough for you. I apologize, Miss Teller. You're looking at a desperate man who really needs your help and has run out of ideas on how to get it. I'll do preliminary investigation. Whatever you need from me. What I need from you is to keep your hopes in check. This is not going to be easy. I don't expect anything to be easy ever again. side of the road. That's where it was struck by the SUV. They say that most likely Chelsea died on impact. With Cindy, they were less sure. All three vehicles were on fire when they arrived. The smoke was so thick, it just blacked out the sky. The police tell you all this? Plus what I remember. You were here? Five minutes too late. Are you sure you want to meet these witnesses? I can do this alone. No, I can handle it. I don't understand what you're saying. Exactly. What are you asking me? Would you say that the car was traveling in an unsafe speed? Well, if you mean fast, I'd say yeah. But kind of normal these days. The small black car. Yeah, well, like I told the cops, it wasn't traveling all that much faster than the traffic. It, it didn't... Now, the woman in the minivan, she just flew in front of him. Probably wasn't paying attention. I see women whipping out of that lot every day, you know, doing their makeup, talking on their cells. Cindy okay, wasn't okay, talking okay, on uh, her Thank cells. you, thank you, Mr. Scully. You've been very helpful. So you were stopped at a light? Yep, I was sitting in my car. Could you fill in some detail, just a little? Uh, well, there was a black car and there was a, was a light brown car. I seen them both because I was in the far lane. The drivers did this sort of nod thing to each other. Wait, you saw that? A nod? Yeah, definitely. And then? And then when the light changed, and uh, the room, they were out of there. 
With this brown car that you described, it was not involved in the accident? No, 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 that dude, uh, that dude dropped out when the, when the traffic got heavier. Wait, when you say dropped out, did he stop after the accident or keep going? Oh, he was out of there. But you know, the weird thing is, he came back. He was parked right in that lot. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. He was watching from across the street. And I was like, whoa, this dude's got to be some kind of like pyro or something, you know? Whatever. <laughs> There's another brown one in back there. Oh, no, he said it was in the lot on the other side of the street. Excuse me. Try the what? Go ahead. I I'll call him back. We don't mind, really. I should have gotten my priorities straight a long time ago. What, what if I didn't answer the phone on this day? We probably wouldn't even be sitting here. Bruce, you have to stop looking for the what ifs. You didn't make this happen. You didn't lose them because of anything you did or didn't do. Channel 2 news crews here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have a commentary thing I have to do. Life goes on. Stay as long as you like. There it is. Light brown car in the lot across the street. There. The plate's in clear view, but you can't quite make it out. But we can fix that, right? <laughs> ride you got here. It's not for sale. Bet it's fast. Yeah, it goes pretty good. Pretty good off the line? It's good enough. Why well, he wants to know. This man's wife and daughter were in the minivan when you were racing at Hillsboro last month. Remember the minivan? You returned to the accident, but you neglected to tell anyone you were the one racing Justin Gutierrez. It's called lying by omission. You ever heard of that? Hey, I didn't hit anybody, OK? I slowed down. He started weaving all over the road. I'll save it for court. What? Accessory to a crime. That's court. <laughs> Maybe even some jail time. I don't know. I'm just a lawyer. Let's go. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Wait, I mean, there's, there's got to be something I can do. But he laid it all out. Can't we take that to court? It's one guy's word against the other. It's not enough to grab the DA's attention. But he admitted they were racing. Yes, and the Gutierrez kid will refute that. And we have to convince the sheriff's department that they might have missed something. What do we need, then? Uh, hard evidence. I am sorry, Bruce. I am very late for a meeting. We'll pick this up again later, OK? OK, thank you. Maybe it recorded the, the street, the accident, in the background. It's definitely possible. Yeah? We're all over this. There were five security cameras. Three of them show the street on the day of the accident. Really? Yes, really. I had to enlarge them so they're a little fuzzy, but you get a very clear idea of what happened. Please, just give me one second. Anna. Hey. 
The surveillance video shows Mr. Gutierrez in second position. We've been able to calculate he was going in excess of 80 miles per hour. And as any judge will see, they're obviously racing. Here's your copy. Let us know when you make an arrest. Again? Yeah, I loved Fine. it. Next week, no heels. You're not hiking in heels. Oh, again. I did not hike in <laughs> heels. What? Okay, I'll catch you later. Hey, punk. Hey, Josh. <laughs> How'd you get Boston. here? And... No, Dad doesn't know. Great. Dad. Hi, Josh. Hey, listen, that's great news about the lawyer you hired. H how'd you hear? No, that's just it. Brody told me all about it for two hours this morning. Wait, Brody's at school, isn't he? N yeah, yeah, he's he's at school, all right. Sort of. How's the music coming? Mom always bugged me to turn it down, but she told me flat out that she wanted me to do the music thing. Now high school it just, you know, it slows me down. Teachers are so lame. Well, high school can get like that, you know? You just gotta, you just gotta get through it. Nice. Hey, boys, mind for join you? Hey. <clears throat> oh. Hey, these are good for you. <laughs> I think that's you. Actually, I better take this. Could be important. Oh, what a surprise. Yep. Hey, Aaron, what's up? Thanks for busting. Brody. 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 Oh. Give him a break. Uh, that's great news, Aaron. Yeah. But do you think it's enough to get the DA to take this to court? Got midterms, bro. I think we got a really good shot. Well, just, just call me when you get a response. Well, do. Aren't you special? Sit down. You can't just disappear without letting him know where you are. Okay, he's been through a lot. Oh, and we haven't. I just mean he doesn't need to go through more. Whatever. Come on, man. Look, you and Dad, you guys need to talk. Great, thanks. He doesn't get me, Josh. He never will. The up. only person who gets me is dead. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. That, that lawyer I hired, well, her two assistants did the match to show that it's probable that the Gutierrez kid was racing. So they're gonna arrest him? I think it looks good. Mr. Gutierrez, you are charged with two counts of vehicular homicide. Each count carries with it a potential 15-year sentence. If convicted, you could face up to 30 years in prison. Do you understand the charges against you, Mr. Gutierrez? Yes. And how do you plead? <clears throat> Mr. Gutierrez, how do you plead? Not guilty.
Okay. Thanks. I'll get back. I can't believe he gets to just stroll on out of here like nothing happened. The judge set a low bail because she doesn't expect him to go very far. And it's a first offense. He's never been in trouble. Yeah, yeah, we heard. Save it. They want a plea bargain? Is that what that was about? His lawyer wants to talk. He wants to change his plea, right? Why would he change the plea? Pleads guilty in exchange for a concurrent sentence. Meaning what? He'll serve both sentences simultaneously. So what, he, he serves 15 years, not 30? That's correct. Oh, not necessarily. With time off for good behavior, it could be a lot less. No, 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 no. That cannot happen. Well, that's Excuse why me, Ms. Teller. Like I'll take over from here. It must be hard to wrap your head around the idea we're sitting at the same table on this one. If this goes to trial, you will not be sitting at my what, table. What, what, what do you mean, if? OK, we did not come this far to plea bargain this or whatever it is that you call it. OK, we want to see justice done. Then we proceed to trial. Great. It's not the way to solve anything. We all get angry, but there's a big difference between being angry and doing something stupid. What were you thinking? The good news is they're not pressing charges. And they could. You know that, right? He knows, Bruce. What's the matter with my lasagna? It's vegan. Is that the problem? No, it's good. It's great. Thank you. No, I didn't think it was a problem either. I think... The problem is you, all of you. You know, you might try talking to each other. It's a concept. Letting each other know how you feel. I mean, what would Cindy think if she could see? Right now, the important thing is Justin be found innocent. We can't do or say anything that might raise an eyebrow, and we have to make sure that he keeps his thoughts to himself. Oh, Paul, that's our son you're talking about. He's told the truth his whole life. That's how we raised him. It's not a lie to say it was an accident. Justin will tell the truth. And the truth is he did not leave this house with the intention of hurting anyone, let alone... Explaining everything that happened could very easily put him in prison. Is that what you want? How about what I want? Does that count? Of course it does, honey. Your mother and I are afraid... Afraid? That... That's funny. I mean, you guys think you're afraid. Which is why we have to be very careful about what we say. The prosecution could use... Right now, Dad, I don't care about what the prosecution does, or says, or any of it. That's not what I'm afraid of. You want to know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid that for the rest of my life, I'm never going to be able to be happy again. Or do anything normal without remembering what I did. And how stupid I was. When all the facts are in, the judge could see it very differently. I don't care how the judge sees it, Dad. I care how I see it and how I deal with it. Babe. Judge Rourke now presiding. Case 407655, the state versus Justin Gutierrez. In the next few days, I'm going to ask you to bear witness to a terrible tragedy. Fiery wreck in Hillsborough Mall destroyed the Murkoff family. A mother and daughter senselessly killed by a callous and uncaring. intentionally reckless decision to race. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God. When the defendant made his decision to race, he turned his vehicle into a high-powered weapon, killing innocent. Your Honor, you've heard this story before. It's to 
southbound and traffic instantly killing the little girl and Josie. When the vehicle exploded, Cindy perished as well. Numerous surveillance and video cameras captured the criminal intent behind Mr. Gettys' driving. I ask you to look over here. There's no precedent for what you want to do. To what purpose? I just can't sit in that courtroom another minute without knowing who this guy is, what he's made of. I just want to sit across from him, look him in the eye, and hear what he has to say for himself. No lawyers, no coaching, just the two of us. Is that too much to ask? Please. <laughs> Mr. Gutierrez, the reason I asked for this meeting is I want to hear what you have to say for yourself. Just you and me. You do have something to say for yourself. Such big words don't fly on your station, do they? <laughs> do I believe that there's another motivation behind the charges brought against Justin Gutierrez? Good question, Mr. Cushon. But the answer is no. Two innocent people are dead. Why is he Ms. Teller, Mr. how would you rate today's proceedings? It was a great day in court for Mr. Murakami. The DA did a fine job. I'll call him from the car. Hey! Bruce? What's going on? I'm not sure. 
listen, we gotta just stay on track here. Try not to let someone's tears sway you. You're gonna see a lot of that. Maybe it was a mistake. I thought he'd be different. Weird. Like an animal or something, but he wasn't. He's just a kid. It's out of our hands. It's like Brody or Josh or Chelsea. State's prosecuting. Wheels are in motion. Bruce, you wanted justice, and now you're going to get it. So how's the trial going, man? Me and the guys have been watching the news, and you have nothing to worry about. That kid's going down, I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's check these studs. Trusses look good. Do you have the specs on this? Yep. Yeah. Who's Murakami, please? Yeah, this is he. Is Brody your son? Yeah, Brody's our son. My son. Well, he's been in a fight. He what? That's my son. Brody? Hey. What happened? Listen, I didn't start it. It's not my fault, okay? This kid, he, he just jumped me from behind and I had to fight back. Mr. Murakami. Mrs. Warren. And I thought it was important for you to know, and for Brody to know, that we have professional counseling available. Well, my son assures me that the other boy started it. There are two sides to everything. And just so you know, I'm on Brody's side. Mr. Murakami, no matter who was at fault here, I believe that Brody has an anger issue that Anger shows... issue? Come on, his anger's kind of normal, given the circumstances, don't you think? I understand it's been very difficult for you. And, and while you're here lecturing me about, about how to deal with my son, you have kids out here driving recklessly and behaving irresponsibly. How come there's no security? How can you allow we that? We do have security, Mr. Murakami, but they have their hands full. Well, somebody needs to talk to these kids, explain to them what can happen. Every spring, we have highway patrol officers come in, give the talk, show the video. Well, let me guess. They don't listen. Well, much like you, Mr. Murakami, they hate being lectured, especially by law enforcement. What are you asking me? Simple. When he's convicted, he's if gonna... If he's convicted. He'll serve 30 years. Right. Okay, so just keep an open mind, okay? Okay. Hear me out. Is it too late to revisit the idea of a plea agreement? Why would we do that now? The last time I mentioned a plea agreement... No, I, I know, I know, but if he admits his guilt in public, if he talks about it, it could help a lot of people. Can we call the DA? Look, it's unprecedented. That's getting to be routine in this case. Would they agree to it? Don't know. Bruce, I have to say, I don't like it. Why not? Because we have worked so hard to build a strong case, and now we have one. I don't get it. Trust me, Miss Tilly wouldn't say that if she didn't believe it. But I'll look into it. I remember I was hired to represent Cindy and Chelsea. They are the innocent ones. I know, I know, and we've proved that. This is what I want to do. It's what I need to do. Look, Bruce, obviously, it's your decision. But I, I think I've done all I can do. I, so whether you choose to go on with this or not, I, Bruce, I think my job's done. Thank you, Aaron. I mean, you made all of that happen, and I, I just wanna, I mean, Good luck, really.
videotapes are strong. They've been able to determine a speed. Our witnesses are not holding up to their witnesses. Wait a minute. What my wife is asking is, can you reduce it any further? No, I don't think so. It's very risky to continue the trial, considering our position. This is a very good agreement. My son is not a puppet. Mom? Justin. Oh, we were uh, just going over things with the lawyer. This, this new proposal. Honey, if you change your plea to guilty. I serve a maximum of 15 years. Years. It's still a lifetime. It's my lifetime. Of course, I know. Sweetheart, the thing is, what if you were found innocent? I'm not innocent, Mom. Oh, but you are, Justin. You have no idea. It'll be okay, Mom. I promise. I want to do this. Could you find your seats quickly and quietly, please? <laughs> quietly? Thank you. I would like to introduce Mr. Bruce Murakami. His son, Brody, is a junior here. As many of you already know, Brody's mother and sister were recently killed in a car accident. It was a tragic accident that should not have happened. I want you all to listen very closely to what Mr. Murakami has to say. Mr. Murakami? Thank you. I want to thank Principal Warren for letting me be here. This, this was my idea, not hers. The fact is, I, I've never done anything like this before. Okay, first of all, I want you to know that for weeks after the accident, I've had an image in my mind of who was behind that wheel. I'm sure all of you do as well. But the truth of the matter is, he didn't fit that image at all. He could be you. Or you. Or you. But it wasn't. It was you. Your name is Justin Gutierrez. Murakami asked me to come here today. My first thought was why. Everybody knows the story already, right? It's been all over the news. I'm the kid that got up one morning and I killed two people I had never even met. I don't know why I decided to race that day. I guess it was a look at me kind of thing. 
Like, I'm driving fast wheels, watch what I can do. So when I got the let's race signal at the light, I went for it. I mean, it was a rush, cutting in and out, like snowboarding or skiing, but in a machine. <laughs> My tires were off the ground. I remember I was flying. And then it was suddenly, boom, it was all over. I destroyed five people's lives. Seven if you count my parents. And eight if you count me. Hey, Melissa. Uh, yeah, uh, look, Brody might be a little bit upset about something He's there. Here. He uh, is. Shooting pool out back. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, I'll come by and get him. All right, see you. Okay, bye. Guys, I'm really sorry about this. Don't be. We're flattered to be his backup family. Absolutely. He told us about what you did today. Yeah, well, he didn't react so well. I'm really sorry about this. Well, you probably should have explained it to him. I, I thought he wouldn't show up, and I, I wanted him to hear it. Yeah, it must have been difficult. Standing up there with him, I, I can't imagine. At first, it was. Hey, Brody. Well, it was an incredibly brave thing to do, really. It wasn't brave, it was lame. Thanks, guys. You thought it was lame? Whatever. I just thought that they would connect better with, with someone their own age, somebody younger. By the way, you didn't even tell me. Did you tell Josh? No. I'm sorry, Brody, I should have told you. It's too late for that. Why? Don't you get it, Dad? How could you go and be friends or even do stuff with the guy who... These are just some of the many positive responses to Mr. Murakami's presentation here at Lincoln High School. The windows have been sealed here. I don't understand. Darrow? You mean another high school? That's right. Word got out about your talk, and now their principal wants you and the Gutierrez boy to do the same for his students. They're listening, Bruce. Brody, I know it might seem kind of strange to you. I got that right. I understand how you feel, but don't you think if doing it in another school in some way helps stop kids from ruining lives, then it's worth it? You know what, Dad? I don't think you care what I think or feel about anything. I mean, you just want me to say, hey, it's a great idea and everything's going to be fine. But see, I don't think that. I won't ever think that. Anyway, I got to practice. 
it's okay. What? What did he say? Uh, he wants me to come with him to another school. What's the point of doing that again? You don't have to do that, Justin. I already said I would. That was not part of the plea agreement. Well, I want to do it, Dad. Justin, don't oh, you... I saw how the kids reacted to him. Thank you, Mom. You need a ride? He's picking me up. Kind of awkward, huh? So is this your high school we're going to? No, sir. I went to Truman. Truman? I think we got an invitation from them, too. How would you feel about going and, and speaking there? I imagine you still got some friends. Not really. I dated a senior there for a few months, but... Not anymore. Kind of drifted apart. So what? You don't do school anymore, cool guy? Come here. How you doing? It's true what they said about me in court. My record's squeaky clean. I mean, it's only because I was never caught before. The truth is, I'd raced before. Lots of times. I even raced around Hillsboro. And for the rest of my life, I have to live with what I've done. I have to live with the hurt and pain that I've caused Mr. Moore caught me and with what I've taken away forever. And now, I will never, ever be able to say anything that will make it better. So let me get this. They're out on some kind of lecture circuit together? That's, wow. Yeah, tell me about it. So what'd he say? I mean, how did he explain? He didn't. He didn't even bother to ask me. Just showed up with the guy to speak at my school. I mean, I was sitting right there and I didn't even know about it. What'd you do? What do you think? The old cut and run? Oh, whatever. So, um... So what did the kids think about what they said? I mean, how did they react? Who cares? Point is, he made me feel like a complete idiot. And now they went over to another one over at Darrow. And I heard a while ago they have another one next week. Brody. On what planet did he think that'd be okay? Brody, hang on for a second, okay? I came all the way down here to talk about this. I don't this. want we'll to talk just about listen this. then, okay? Look, maybe this is Dad's way of, of handling the whole thing, okay? His way of don't, dealing don't, with Mom don't, and please, with Chelsea. Don't, don't! Don't tell me this is his way of dealing with it. This is my mom and my sister. You don't turn them into a slideshow to teach the world a lesson. Brody, hang on a second. Brody, hold on. Brody, look, I think Dad's doing this to honor them, okay? To turn what happened into, into what? something... A bright and sunny day? Sing song around the campfire? What Come are we on, supposed man. to do? Forgive that loser kid? Brody. Give him a big hug because he's riding Brody. I'm sorry in the black Would you stop time. this? How come nobody sees Brody, this but me? Watch out! Brody! Brody? Is he all right? He came out of Brody. nowhere. Brody. Stitches. I've never had more than two. <laughs> How's your arm? Uh, it's just a fracture, no big deal. Yeah, yeah, no big deal there, cool guy. So let me get this straight. 
The sky plows into you, and so you were just zipping along. Okay. It was my fault. Well, I guess we got lucky then. All of us. It's bizarre. It's just the same thing that happens every morning. Right when I wake up, but before I'm, you know, actually conscious. It's a few seconds when the world seems good. Everything's okay, there's no problems. And then I blink, and I remember they're gone. And just right away I feel cold. You know, like I've slept outside all night, or I don't know what. I hate how quiet it is. You know what I mean? I hate not seeing them when I walk through the door, you know? I hate how they're stuck in stupid little picture frames and we're left behind trying to figure out why it happened. I just, I hate how I can't get my old life back. Listen, guys, I'm, I'm sorry I've been, I mean, for a long time, even before all this happened, I've been doing my thing, on the phone, making deals, and not paying attention to the one thing that really is important, as you guys. I haven't been there for either one of you, especially the genius of the family. Mm, thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. And from now on, I'm not gonna make any decisions without talking it over with you first. Okay? So, uh, that means you're thinking something right now, right? Yeah, Brody, I am. And I mean what I said. If you guys aren't okay with it, if you don't think it's the right thing to do, then that's the end of it. All right, Brody? Your mom always called you the genius of the family. I know how much she admired you, loved you, and I know how much you miss her. But I can see her standing right here, and I can hear her voice. And she would tell you, your dad loves you too. And I do, son. And I'll never let anything get between us ever again. I promise you. Mr. Murakami, oh Bruce, yeah. it's so good to see you. You too, Aaron. I've been following it all. Yeah, well, listen, I, I just really wanted to come here and thank you for all that you did. I really appreciate it and, and for taking the time from such a busy schedule. I know that had to be very busy. You know, the funny thing is, I forgot now to take the time to listen, to feel, to think about what justice really means. And I have you to thank for that, really. How are the boys? We're getting there, together. Good. Good. Yeah, it's good. But? No, no, no buts. You, you never come here. Well, there is one tiny. That's what I thought. Little thing. And? I want to take this one step further. The Honorable Judge Rourke now presiding. Please be seated. This court is in session. It seems to me this plea agreement is fairly straightforward. The defendant now pleads guilty to two counts of vehicular homicide, both counts to be served concurrently for a total of 15 years at the state penitentiary. Is this your understanding of this agreement? Yes, Your Honor. And the state is also amenable to these terms? Uh, no, Your Honor, we're not. Has something transpired since this agreement was reached? 
Your Honor, I spent the morning with Mr. Mirakami drafting a revised plea agreement. May we approach? Now? You're making this request now at the sentencing? Mr. Murakami, you're in agreement with this? Yes, Your Honor, I am. Uh, and I've spoken with Mr. Gutierrez about the conditions of the proposal. Very well. Carry on. As part of this new agreement, the state would like to request permission for Mr. Justin Gutierrez to address the court directly. Mr. Murakami. Thirteen weeks ago, I had the chance to sit and express to Mr. Murakami what I've felt ever since this tragedy occurred. I expressed to him the shame that I felt for my role in this accident. And now, I stand here today publicly and say to his sons, to the rest of the world, I'm so sorry. I believe Justin. I believe he's remorseful. I do not condone his actions, but I forgive him. And I think he's paying the price. Sending Justin to prison would only make a tragic situation worse. My wife and daughter's death would not seem so senseless, Your Honor, if. Justin could continue to tell his story on the outside. If, if he could prevent one kid, just one, from making the same fatal mistake he did, I feel my family would have a, a chance to heal. And justice would be served. Your Honor, may I approach? This agreement calls for Mr. Gutierrez to team up with Mr. Mirakami to develop a program that combats reckless teen driving. Now, in exchange, we will agree to a lesser charge of manslaughter by culpable negligence. Now, in addition, Mr. Mirakami has asked that the word felon be removed from Justin's record. Mr. Mirakami, do you fully understand that this would mean Mr. Gutierrez would serve no prison time at all? Yes, Your Honor, I do. This is a remarkable proposal Mr. Murakami has put before this court. It's an enormous break for you, Mr. Gutierrez. It would mean that you would not be a formally convicted felon. After considering this new information and previous submissions, I am now prepared to pass sentence. This reduced charge will carry a sentence of two years under house arrest, eight years of probation, and 300 hours of community service. Mr. Gutierrez, I hope you know what a great gift you've been handed. Don't waste it. The court is adjourned.
Murakami. You will too. Sorry. We can't thank you enough for what you've done for our son. And for us. It's the right thing to do. And, uh, that time when I hit you, I'm sorry. Thank you. Nice job, Mr. Murakami. Thank you. Good luck, boys. 